Join us as we explore Sri Lanka's crazy and chaotic capital city, Colombo. Colombo. There are feathers on my bread. From bustling markets to beautiful mosques, from traditional snacks and local drinks, hari 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 rasai. To futuristic tuk-tuks and Sri Lanka's very own all-electric supercar. We want to see what we can discover in this incredible city. What is happening, beautiful people? We are Silky and Kira, and we're in our 10-year honeymoon world trip. And we are just about to catch the train to Colombo. Uh, we're an hour too early. Yeah. Maybe first breakfast? Breakfast. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Time for breakfast. Time for breakfast. We picked up some breakfast along the way as we had a half an hour walk to the train station. And the train takes two hours to get to Colombo, so we thought we're probably not going to get food for a long time, mm -hmm. but they do have coffee on the train from what we remember from last time, so um, let's hope we get some coffee because the coffee was so good. Mm -hmm. The train has arrived and let's get on it. Crocs in Adventure Mode. And we are on our way. A ticket was only 100 ringgit per person. If you go to third class, second class, I think it's 200 per person. And uh, yeah, train journeys are our favorites. Hello, here we go. It's so beautiful to just watch everything passing by. The train is getting full. Yeah, so, so many people. I'm glad we're on the edges. <laughs> the only thing that means is like if it's like a can of beans or something, you squish it down. The ones on the edges, the ones first ones to go out, so <laughs> we're gonna we end up on the long. tracks. <laughs> She called me baby, so um, I should be the baby. <laughs> when you leave the station, you have to give your tickets back. And I was thinking, oh, I would love to keep them just as a memory. And the moment we get to that guy, I'm like, okay, here are the tickets. And he's like, keep them. So I think he read my thoughts. We know where we are going first. There was something we remember from the bus stand in um, Colombo. And it's something delicious. And I hope it's there now. I hope it's still there. Maybe hopefully it's still the same guy. <laughs> but we are going there now to... Um, Oh, not get hit by a tuk-tuk, <laughs> but um, Colombo is as chaotic as I remember. <laughs> Tuk-tuks everywhere, people everywhere. No. They're just assuming I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> we have found the bus stand, not so far from the train station, and I think I know where I'm going. I know where we are. Around the corner, there's this guy who sells amazing drinks, and fingers crossed he's still there. And we have found him. This is the guy. He's a legend. He makes these amazing drinks. They're super warm. And Sao. This is Sao. My God. We had it recently in the Gombo, and we didn't think it's the same drink as. We love the Sao women in the Gombo, but this one is next level. Oh, it's so delicious. Yeah, 50 rupees. Yeah, this one. Ticket tickets. You want it? Okay. Uh, yeah, price. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. One lakh, two lakh, two lakh, price. Yeah. I think we're okay. Yeah. We took shower because it's raining. Again, we've been in Sri Lanka for two weeks now and every day has been raining like insane. Mmm, 
hari 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 rasai. Very good. Please. Amazing. See you next time, Giliana. We finished our sao and we can safely say this is one of the highlights of visiting Colombo. Come to Colombo bus stand, find this guy and get some sao. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna explore the market as it's just across. The markets are as crazy as ever. The smells, the colors, everything. We remember when we came here for the first time, we were just like photographing everything. It's so beautiful, it's just so vibrant and the people are so vibrant as well. We love it here, so um, let's explore the market. There's not much we can buy here. It's all fruit, veg and local produce and stuff, but um, yeah, it's just nice to see. This is a uh, sour soap. Yeah. Sour soap. Okay, yeah. next time. Still here. Yeah. You from Colombo? Yeah, it's very beautiful. We like it. Wow, you step out in the market and it's so bright and you're back in the streets and I've already had to dodge like two guys running at me with carts and scooters it's and stuff. It's insane, it's so overwhelming. Yeah. We haven't been in a country like this for yeah. I think the last like, year at least. Yeah, like you know, we were in Malaysia where everything's like quite controlled. The markets are really beautiful, but not like an attack on the senses. And then before that, Thailand. And it's very like much like Malaysia and, the, and, the, and that way with the markets. And this is just back in the heart of the chaos. We just, love it! We love it, yeah. Wow, this is real travel. Wow! One of the main things you see in Colombo is the Red Mosque. And it comes straight out of Alice in Wonderland. By the way, we're trying to find the entrance to the Red Mosque, but uh, it says everywhere for workshops only, so um, I will find it. It's somewhere around the corner. I wouldn't say. As you know, when you enter a mosque, you always have to be fully covered, so. Done! Done. We're doing a little tour now, I think. I didn't expect that, but good. To be honest, all I want is to be in the swimming pool. <laughs> No, that's not sweet. No, I know, it's just to clean yourself from all the bad things. And this is our guide, Mohamed. What a legend. That was definitely one of the most beautiful mosques we've ever seen. It's the most pure, beautiful pomegranate I've ever been inside. <laughs> yeah, we learned actually it was... Um, Based on a pomegranate, the yeah. architecture, because the pomegranate is mentioned in the Quran as the fruit of paradise, so... Yeah. Voila. Also, and look at us crossing the street. There is like no rules. Everybody is just like crossing, pulling things, pushing things. You just go. You go you where you need to go. go. Which is one of the things we love here. Like imagine coming from somewhere like Singapore and it's like you can't jaywalk and now it's like it's like the cars share the road with the people and the bikes and the So much better yeah. guys. And we love this. But now we are super freaking hungry and wanna get like a good meal. Mm -hmm. So I think we're just gonna look for something. We found some egg rolls just by the bus station because we're really hungry. We thought to go and sit somewhere inside, but maybe we do that later. We just want a little snack. Water. No, no, it's we have water. It's not egg roll. It's like a roll with egg. An egg. <laughs> it's not an egg roll. It's a roll with egg. First wait, let's try. Good. Tasty. We've never bought something like this before. But, um, yeah. yeah. So, guys, don't There are feathers on my bread. <laughs> oh. I'm less happy with than sugar. <laughs> I love tuk-tuks, but this is a whole other level. This is like, I mean, I love this as well, beautiful, but this is like so futuristic. 
There's like two seats in the back, three, and then one in the front. Look at and this. Wow, I have one. I have one. That's crazy. Should we buy one? Electric tuk tuk. <laughs> Air conditioned tuk tuk. Air conditioned tuk tuk. What? Wow, how much would it cost to buy one? It's about 2 million, 2.5 million. 2.5 million. Sri Lanka rupees. Yes. Wow. wow. That's, That's beautiful. Amazing. Wow. That's amazing. Let's see how it feels to sit inside. Wow, these are nice. This is comfortable. Actually, quite a lot of space as well. I really like this little tuk -tuk. <laughs> We have a plan of buying a tuk tuk one day, uh, but this is a uh, next level. First South Asian electric supercar. Okay. And the body panels all are in carbon fiber. We have we built those body panels here in Sri Lanka. Wow. Yeah. Uh, this this has two motor only resistor. All the interior design, exterior design, all done here. Oh guys, Sri Lanka are doing cool things. That company Vega are like making everything electric. He had electric uh, quads, electric bikes, electric cars. You know, they were trying to convert an old Mini Cooper into an electric one. Wow. Ah, guys, we are loving being in Sri Lanka, but we will admit one thing. We just came from Malaysia and we used to have every single day coffee ice, tea uh, ice, which is iced coffee iced tea, and it was delicious. We miss it so much in here. They just don't have it. Maybe they have it in the touristy places, but in Malaysia, it's like really in the local places. You just have coffee ice everywhere you go, you know, iced coffee, coffee ice. Um, <laughs> And price for copy ice. <laughs> yeah, wow. She's, she's got your slogan. Anybody watching this with copy ice, if I see you using that, we want copyright. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's um, it's something you just don't get here. Like they have coffee, they have tea, but they never think to put ice in it. No. In fact, there's not a lot of icy stuff here. No, there's That's not. more Southeast Asia. We walked out of the center so far that there were just like no places to eat anything, but we found this little local shop and uh, the owner is super funny he was like when we entered he was making huge movements like squatting and stuff but we didn't we didn't uh, capture that on camera but yeah we're gonna have something to eat Sri Lanka they still have these glass bottles of coke and fanta definitely get it we have drinks we have dal and we have barata and we are ready something we don't often have fizzy drinks, but today, as the weather is so hot, we just wanted something cold. And I think it's just talking about the copy eyes and the eyes. We decided to try this uh, funky color as well. We are back on the road and all of that was 570 rupees. We just spotted some really nice old trucks in this old, what looks to be abandoned car park. And Silke said, oh yeah, we remember we need to fly the drone. And I was like, wait there, this would be the perfect place to come and fly the drone. So, wow, this is amazing. This view is incredible. Holy frick, look where we are. <laughs> back and the gate is closed. I don't know how we're getting out of this place. <gasps> but the cars are cool. So cool. But I, I honestly don't know how we're getting out. Okay, that was less adventure than I thought it would be. There's just the way around it. And welcome to... Beira Lake. Beira Lake. Beira Lake. Beira Lake. Beira Lake. Tell us uh, how it sounds. Yep. That's the big, The big bit of water in the center of Colombo. It's nice. It's very peaceful. We also have a view over the Lotus building. But it's a huge contrast to the markets that we were in the middle of earlier, the hustle and bustle. There's still tuk-tuks and cars and stuff, but it's actually pretty peaceful. Mm -hmm. There are even ducks you can run to like... Not, not ducks, like <laughs> not she means like a, a pedalo swan thing that you can rent to go around the river. I don't think we're going to be doing that today, but um, I would rent a duck though. <laughs> And our last spot for today, Golface, 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 Gal, Gal la 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 la, Golface. 
I just sent my wife to check on ice cream prices because you know that if we rock up with all these cameras and stuff like that, they're going to be like, yep, that's double. <laughs> it happens, unfortunately it does happen in Sri Lanka uh, and other places we've traveled to. Um, we love it, but it's just hard and we understand, you know, we may look as if we've got so much money because we're rocking about with these big cameras and stuff like that. But in reality, you know, we don't have a house. We don't have a lot of belongings. We just have the cameras and the backpack on our back that support our travel life. So, um, yeah, it's funny, but um, I'm not sure how Sophie's doing. She's having a deep conversation. Looks like she's learning a lot. She talking to a dog? Oh, she's talking to a cat. Okay, hey, I've got to go. I've got to go. I'm sorry, I can't not, I can't not go. Pusa. Hey, She's Pusa. sweet. How are you? 80. I am just feeling like sweet stuff today and fresh stuff today, so. Let's fix this. Oh la la, oh la la. The atmosphere, guys. That's why you come to Colombo. I think. We're <laughs> Guys, <laughs> you have no idea how tired we are. We left. What time did we leave? Nine no, not too early. Yeah, nine o'clock. No, no, not, not about how early it was. But it is now. It's 6 p.m. something like that. Yeah, but it's almost six. And we are we've been walking non-stop. We stopped for like food once. Twice? Once or twice? Woo! <laughs> I don't know if we're getting old, but I just feel like. I'm walking my legs into the ground and I'm saying it more and more often, but um, we're gonna head by a truck. Guess in the comments how old we are, guys. No. Guess. <laughs> you be better nice. be good to us. Be nice. <laughs> comfortable seat in the world but um, your, your ice cream is here. Oh it's got a nice view. It's wearing underwear luckily. <laughs> Are you? Uh, yeah luckily. <laughs> mm, this is melting. Mm. That's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Wow can you tell we're tired guys? I feel like a banter has been a bit mm. Because I think you might be bored at the moment. We'll show you our dance that we created yesterday. I don't know what your recommendation would be, but when we go to local dabas, we realize that they've just been giving us like water from the tap and we've been drinking it for two weeks. So our stomachs are still good. So this is a full bottle of tap water and we're still alive and not pooping our pants. Silga's getting a pooping her pants. Wow guys, we just sat there for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Something like this. We were doing some work, posting yeah. on TikTok, Instagram, all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, just getting some work. It was a nice place to work actually. Mm -hmm. There's a cool sea breeze and there's lots going on and lots of people around. And... But now I think we're going to head back for the train. Let's, oh! let's, let's go. There might be some adventures along the way. So Who knows, we'll take you along with so hot. We're trying to find our train and they said that, it, oh, okay, maybe this is the wrong platform. <laughs> we just asked the guy and he was like, nope, this isn't the right train, but it should be here soon. But I think that it's actually on another platform. The platforms here actually feel kind of confusing, but we're getting there. I'm so red. Wow. Oh, I'm there. Yeah. On the train, ready to go to Negombo. Wow, what a long day. We do recommend though, if you want to go to Colombo, but you're on the budget, say Negombo because yeah. only two well, 100 rupees to take the train all the way to Colombo. If you want to stay in Colombo Centre, it's more expensive yeah, for we looked a hostels lot for, and guest houses. Yeah, we looked everything. a lot for accommodation. We didn't find anything what, under... 5,000? Yeah, it's like 3,000 for a bunk and a dorm. And we're staying right now in Marshland Family Guest House, which I think is around about 3,000, so, you know, and that's a nice guest house for a room. Yeah, so definitely that's a, a recommendation. Plus the train ride is just... Guys, 
we arrived back in the gumbo and it's a long walk home. So we decided to stop in and get ourselves some food. After an incredible meal, we are back in our guest house. We actually got rained on pretty hard, so I'm super wet. But <laughs> and we got followed by two dogs yeah. all the way home. Yeah, and then our guest house, the mum wasn't super happy. She was like, get out. And the dogs, oh, I had to threaten them with a the crock, but I didn't do anything, but I felt so bad. Anyway, we had a wonderful time in Colombo today. Amazing food, amazing people, and such a vibrant, chaotic city in the best ways, and I think it really shows a different side to Sri Lanka from the beautiful nature and the, the beautiful beaches. I think it shows that chaotic, rough, kind of India-style side. It's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's Sri Lanka. It's Sri, Lanka. Sri Lanka full on. Yeah. We really enjoyed our day. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. All of that good stuff. And we will see all of your beautiful faces on the next adventure. And it is going to be a good one. It's so, going to be insane. Yeah, but while you wait on that, just check out this video. Bye. <sighs>